retweet some of the stuff that was popping up. I got some really interesting questions that I want to share here that I think are relevant to the conversation. Pay attention, pay attention, to anybody who's having any confusion about what it is to be direct to consumer as a musician. The question that was asked to me, uh, I've been in shambles, says T. Mafiani. He says, my fan base ain't big enough to go direct to consumer, but I hate the way these streaming services play are playing. I'm stuck in a hard place. I told him, I don't personally think that you have to wait to have a fan base mm -hmm. to get started on this. You know how many startups seek funding and or launch without an audience? They learn from experience itself. You just need a long term plan. The people. That's, that's, that's when that's what the marketing coach come in at. Right there. You know what I mean? If you don't understand digital marketing, you that's where you have to have the coach to teach you and coach you through it to where you can find your audience. You still do what you do, still direct consumer on top of it. Then when you get direct consumers, you know what I mean? You can get coached how to find your audience prior to your transition to having uh, uh, going straight to your website. And uh, you know what I mean? There's ways you can do things. And still use these you still use the social media platforms to find your audience that's where you need coaching at that's where he's stuck at you know what I'm saying and that's where 98 percent of you artists is stuck at right now because y'all feel you don't have an audience you know what I'm saying to start this no you don't know your audience you have an audience you just don't know it the key thing is to know your audience and I talk about this all the time at that right in the mar stop yeah yeah, yeah. People who were doing direct to consumer when they didn't have an option of streaming 20 odd years ago, they didn't have a choice. You built your fan base off of giving out CDs for free. Mm -hmm. You built your fan base off of doing these pay to play shows, whatever could put you in front of people that would possibly have interest then in buying your direct to consumer product as in a CD. And the pay to play shows is very good. I know everybody does it, but people don't know how to use it properly. How are you in the city in a Buffalo? You're doing pay to play shows all the time in the city, but don't know how to use that audience to to know what they like. You don't. They do a pay for play show, right? They get on stage to perform, then they just stand around and then they leave. You know what I mean? When you're doing a pay to play show, your job is to perform. Then after the show, you should have something to give away, something free. If it's a T-shirt, if it's information. If it's a CD, if it's a USB with your music on it, is it a sticker with your logo on it? If it's a business card, is it a brochure about your uh, bio, your EPK and the brochure with your bio, who you are, to where they can find where you at? All these things. They don't. A lot of the artists don't have none of that in the city. Why? The funnel is open. I don't understand that part. Don't understand that part. Every time I do anything, if I don't have nothing in hand, I'm going to communicate. I'm going to get each person, yo, this is what I got going on. Yo, I'm on social media. Which one you on? Boom. Follow me. I'll follow back. I'm going to send you, a, I'm going to send you a, a, a text right now. Or I'm going to go in your inbox and let you know it's me so we can start communicating. You got to network. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't do that when they're doing pay-to-play shows. Don't understand that. That's how you find your audience or vinyl, whatever you're selling. Another question that popped up. Do you think it's smart for someone who is still gaining fans? Because I obviously totally see what you did and it makes total sense. But I still feel like I'm selling myself short just for catalog exposure, keeping my shit on these outlets. I said every indie artist must at some level have the ability to sell their art if they want to make a living at this. Direct to consumer will force you to learn those crucial selling skills as you build your audience. What has streaming taught us except dependency on their system? I'm going to give myself the bomb. Everybody's going to have to tell the truth, and I'm going to tell it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think we'll end there. What has streaming taught us? Mm. What skills has streaming taught us except for more strategic skills ha at how to be better at streaming? Maybe you found some success running ads on their platform using their system. Well, how do you feel now that after running those ads, they've returned you back with a warning or a deletion of your music because you ran ads, but then it exposed the fact that a good chunk of the audience on there are actually bots. Mm -hmm. How does wow. that feel? I keep hearing that. Like that I am mm -hmm. learning first. It's a way to get around bots, man. I didn't know I'm saying that. There you go again. You gotta take the marketing class. You need a coach. It's ways you can get around bots. You know what I mean? Give them a, and, uh, can you give them one tip? Uh, one <laughs> tip to get around box is do an ad, but also 
to get emails from everybody that's following you. You don't have to ask them. If they have the email freely on their page or their page, do an email blast like I did yesterday. You know what I mean? So when you so you get people that's actually going in, that's going to take the percentage of them bots out the way 